Nursing was it for me. It was my identity. I did everything. If I could help them get a job or an apartment, my husband says that I am a um, frustrated social worker. <laughs> January 7th, 1984, I actually had been going to a Bible study on the book of John, and uh, it opened my heart to the Word of God being the answer, the truth. It was the best day of my life. I actually was born with a genetic disorder, retinitis pigmentosa, and I still continued nursing until I couldn't anymore because of my vision loss. If somebody says, if ever said to me, hey, you could have your eyesight, but you have to, you know, get rid of Jesus, I'd say, no, no deal. Wherever I go, I try to hand this out to people. So it's 21 chapters of the gospel. I get around with my cane to cross the street to go in the park. Going into a park to uh, talk with people is a pleasure, first of all, but knowing that eternal life is real and people don't know that they're in danger, people have been saved in the park. I've had more of a reaction from the staff on, in the park that was not too nice, uh, like they would interrupt me. There's plenty of people to talk to. I don't have to be um, going after anybody. Well, I couldn't. It would be a tripping hazard for me. I was sitting on a bench with a, a man that I was conversing with. The executive director comes over and he says that he was gonna call the police. And uh, that's the start of um, the two-year ban, even from the library, which that was a little bit of a surprise to me, that they would ban me from both the park and the library on passing out one of the 66 books of the Bible that you have in your library that people can check out. Uh, I guess my heart is broken, uh, that I can't do what the Lord has told me to do. So if you want to say that, I, I think about daily the lost souls. I think the Lord has positioned me right across from the park. It, it's a divine uh, assignment that I absolutely need to fulfill. It's, it's just a must. <laughs>